everyone, I'm Talia and welcome back to Trading Flowers. So today, I'm super excited to share this recipe with you because it is Royal Iced Heart Cookies. They're really easy to make and you can also go back to the Royal Icing recipe I taught you last week. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can go click on it and check it out. So they're basically these adorable heart cookies that are iced in white Royal Icing and then I painted on them and I used Icing Writers to make really nice designs. And they're very fun to make with friends, family, your kids, anyone. Um, and you will see why when you see the video. So I'm very excited to share with you and let's get started. So the first step to making Royal Ice cookies is to place all your cookies onto some paper towel. And I like to leave them there overnight just to let all the oil seep down onto the paper towel so that it does not seep into the Royal Icing. To ice the base of these cookies, I'm going to need to make some medium and thin consistency icing. To make the medium consistency icing, just add about a teaspoon of water to a third cup of royal icing, give it a mix, and if you see you need a little bit more, then just add about a half a teaspoon of water at a time until it's not too thin but not too thick. To make the thin royal icing, begin with adding about a teaspoon and a half of water to the royal icing, which is a third cup. Mix it, and if you see that you need a little bit more water, just add a little bit more, about a half a teaspoon at a time, until you get a bit of a thinner icing than the medium consistency icing. To royal ice the base of the cookie, I'm outlining the cookie with a medium consistency royal icing. Then I'm going to fill it inside with a thinner consistency royal icing. You can get all the recipes for the royal icing and the cookie on my YouTube channel, but I'll leave links to their videos as well. All the ingredients and equipment that you'll need for this video will be on my website, it's ratingflower.com, so you can just go there and check it out. Right now, I'm using a scribe tool to easily distribute the icing on the cookie. Once your cookies are iced, allow them to sit for 8 to 12 hours or best overnight to set up. So today I'll be teaching you how to make three different cookie designs. The first design is a watercolor painted XOXO cookie. So to make this cookie, you're going to need four different color food coloring gels, and I'm using these Wilton ones. I'm using orange, blue, purple, and pink, but you can use any colors that you like. I filled each cavity of this painter's palette with some gel food coloring, and then I'm adding about a teaspoon of vodka to each one. Give each vodka food coloring mixture a quick mix and then you begin painting your cookie. I also like to keep a container of water in the middle of the plate so I can rinse off my paintbrush after using each color of food coloring vodka mixture. To paint these cookies, all you're gonna do is take a thin tipped paintbrush and paint XOXOs all over the cookie. And now I'm doing a pattern of doing XO and let's say orange and then continuing doing another XO in pink and so on and so forth. And I'm also making them like slightly on an angle and not exactly in perfect lines, but of course you can do this however you like. Also, don't forget to wash off your paintbrush each time you use a different color food coloring and dry it on a paper towel before painting. The second cookie is this really adorable love cookie. And this cookie is simply decorated with food writers. There are only two steps to decorating cookie. The first step is to write love all over the cookie with a black food writer. And the second step is to draw mini hearts all around the cookie in random places and I do this by drawing a heart outline and then gently filling it in. This third cookie is a really cute heart watercolor cookie. For this cookie I'll be using the same watercolor technique as I used for in the first cookie. So I'm painting on these watercolor hearts and all I'm doing is making like a short line and then making another short line next to it and then connecting it to make the hearts. I'm making my hearts pink, orange, and purple, but of course you can make it with any colors that you like. So here are all three heart cookies looking gorgeous and ready for Valentine's Day. Thank you all so much for watching. I would love to see your creations, so if you take any photos, you could tag me at a turning flower on either Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and I would absolutely love to see them. So for the recipe, you go to my website, it's ratingflower.com, and you can easily go and print it out there. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos every week. 
I love to see that subscriber box going up. And I will see you next time. Bye.